everyone, my name is Miss Kim and I am with Garfield County Public Libraries. I'm here today for a special story time uh, to share with you about the 2020 Census. We have a great book to read today where we're going to be doing a lot of fun counting with the kids and it, the book also has a lot of great information for the adults, okay? Um, before we get started reading, I would like to just say that uh, young children, as I'm sure you already know, they need a lot of support in their early years and um, responding to the census and filling it out is one of the easiest and safest and most important ways that you can help to provide resources to young children and the communities that they live in, which is your community. And um, we do this every 10 years, so the numbers that they count last for 10 years. So that makes um, a big impact on what happens in our communities. So we very much encourage you to fill out your census form. Um, and we're hoping that this book will help because we also know that there are a lot of questions out there um, about how to fill out the form. And sometimes it can get really confusing. So um, we're hoping that the book will help and we'll also have lots of fun with the kids in the process. So. Um, thanks so much for being here and kids, let's get started. Are you ready to count? Because we are going to do some serious counting today, okay? Are you ready? All right, let's, let me show you the book. The book is called We Count, okay? 2020 Census Counting Book for Young Children and the Grown-Ups Who Love Them. So who counts in America? Who counts? Every 10 years, we answer that question by counting each and every person in our country. Each and every person. So each and every person counts. It is called the census and the next one starts in March 2020, which we already have passed. So we are in the census right now for 2020. In the last census, many families forgot to count their babies and their young children. So this is a book to help everyone learn how to count their families for the census. Parents, I'd just like to point out real quickly that this book is designed um, so that on the left-hand side is mostly for the kiddos and the right-hand side is information for the adults. So I will be focusing on the child side as I'm reading. So let's get started, kids. I am Miss Faith and I am one where I live. Young and old, we all count. How many people live with you? Miss Faith wants to know. She says, in this book, my friends and I will help everyone, young and old, learn to count in the 2020 census. Okay, so let's do that. Are you ready to count? Let's go. Hi, my name is Katya. We are one, two, where I live. Young and old, we all count. What color is Katya's dress? Can you tell me? Blue. Mm -hmm. And here's a picture, looks like this is her and her mama. What color is her mom's shirt? Red? You are correct, red. All right, my name is James. We are one, two, three, where I live. Young and old, we all count. James has a new baby brother, but the baby brother is still in the hospital. Can you think of a good name for James's baby brother, for a cute, brand new little baby brother? What would be a good name? I bet you can come up with lots of great names, yeah. All right, oh, and there's his family. One, two, three, and his little baby brother. So that's one of those tricky questions for the census. So um, that's a good one for moms and dads and adults to read. My name is Sophia. Oh, here's Sophia. We are one, two, three, four, where I live. Young and old, we all count. Look at Sophia. You think she likes to dance? I think she might like to dance. She's got her dancing clothes on anyway. Sophia would like you to find the green bead. Can you find the green bead? Which one of these is green? 
Very good. That is the green one. And here is Sophia's family. One, two, three, four. Four in Sophia's family. My name is Frankie. We are one, two, three, four, five where I live. Young and old, we all count. Do you notice something about Frankie's family? Mm -hmm. It says that Frankie, his brother and his sister, live with grandma and grandpa. So that's their family that they'll be counting with grandma and grandpa. Okay. My name is Maria. We are, you ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, where I live. Six, wow, and here is her family. Young and old, we all count. Do you notice the little animal in this picture? What, do you, what is that animal, do you know? A guinea pig! A lot of people have pets that are guinea pigs. So uh, Maria has one. Do you think that we count the guinea pig in our family for the census? What do you think? Actually, we only count humans in the census, okay? We don't count our pets. Even though they're part of our family, we just count humans. Yep. So we don't count the pet guinea pig. My name is Sammy. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where I live. Young and old, we all count. There's his family. Sammy is six years old. Can you find the number bead? Which one of these beads has number six? If you said this one, you were correct. Good job. My name is Frida. Here's Frida. You ready to count? It's getting longer and bigger. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, where I live, eight. She has eight in her family, in her household. Young and all, young and old, we all count. It looks like she has a puppy. Do we count the puppy on our census form? Nope. Even though she loves her puppy and he's part of her family, we don't, we only count humans on the census form. Here's her family. Let's read what it says down here. Can you find Frida and her mother in the picture? Oh, how would we know which one is her mother? They're giving us a hint. It says, hint, Frida's mother's wearing a shirt that's the same color as bead number four. So can you find bead number four in our book? There it is right there. Number four, so what color is that bead? Red, okay. So who over here that's a mom is wearing a red shirt? Right there, yep, you're right. That's Frida's mom. And that looks like her right there. Okay, we're getting higher, we're counting higher, here we go. My name is Shanti. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, where I live. Young and old, we all count. Wow, Shanti's family has nine. Nine people in Shanti's family in her house. Okay, we have one more, one more to count. Are you ready? This one might be hard because it's really big. Let's find out here. This is Patience. She says, hi, my name is Patience. We are, ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten where I live, she says. Young and old, we all count. Wow. Patience has ten people in her family, in her household. Look at that. Let's do that again, because you did a great job counting these. Let's count, let's count her family too, okay? Oh, here's the baby. Remember, we can't forget to count the babies. So we're gonna count everyone in this photo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people in her family in her household. Wow, that's a big family. But I bet some of you have families that large. I bet you do, that live in your home. That's a lot of love to go around, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let me find our last page here. Young and old, we all count. Here is a picture of everyone's families. Young and old, we all count. Okay, so that's the end of our book. Who counts? We count. So everybody counts, right? All right, so parents, um, you can pick up a copy of this book at any one of our libraries in Garfield County. Um, we, uh, you can go to Carbondale, Glenwood, Newcastle, Silt, Rifle, or Parachute. And we will have these books starting this week for you. All you have to do is come in and just say, ask for, um, say that you'd like a census book. We have them in English and Spanish. And as I said before, there are lots of questions. Um, and this book, the, the second half of this book actually has um, all kinds of information for adults on questions that you might have about exactly how to fill out the form. <clears throat> because it does get a little confusing sometimes. So there's a lot of information in here for you if, if um, you need it. Um, so we hope this will help you. Uh, please come get a copy. And then um, if you take it home and you read it and you still have questions, come back to the library and we will do our best to help you find out your answers. Okay? Thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.